Deputy Sean Kenny. Thanks, Mr. And I, I want to welcome the uh, GA and the FAI and the IRFU to the committee and to recognise the, the vital role they play in sports in, 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 the, in, the, in the country, and particularly with young people. But just to go back to the, um, the alcohol strategy, I mean, uh, we, the, 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 the report from the um, steering group was that the drinks industry sponsorship of sport should be phased out by 2016 and that in the intervening time it should be should not be increased and they, they gave some very compelling uh, reasons for, for, for that um, it's they say that the average uh, age of first alcohol use in children has dropped from the age of 15 down to 14 that uh, one in five 16 year old is a weekly drinker and that uh, four out of ten in the 16 to 21 year old um, category uh, wear alcohol branded uh, clothing and that uh, in 2007 alcohol related illnesses cost uh, 1.2 billion and that in the same year that alcohol related crime cost uh, 1.9 billion and um, the, anyway, you know the, what do you say to the argument that um, the alcohol sponsorship of sport is primarily designed uh, to the building of brand presence uh, and to the retaining and increasing the market share. So, so that is really the, 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 the rationale for the alcohol sponsorship. Can you divide them between you? Uh, can I just say the, the, the last one? Um, uh, 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 Kenny, I, I think the, the I mean, the paradox here is that the, the, the perception is that uh, alcohol advertising is there to increase market share or, or to increase the consumption. That is, that is the basic premise that lies behind the uh, proposals that are put forward, that in other words, if we don't have alcohol advertising of sport, uh, we are going to uh, have some impact on um, uh, sales. Uh, uh, in, in, a, in a positive way from in terms of uh, reducing sales of, of, of beer. Uh, for instance, the majority of sponsorship of alcohol in this country is around beer, uh, and largely around the two major uh, brands of beer. We have, uh, we have Guinness and we have Heineken. I mean, as I said earlier, the, the reality is sales have declined by 15% in the last five years, but there's no, there's, there's no indication that there's been any reduction in the, in the, the, the amount of al alcohol uh, of the advertising by both Heineken and Guinness. So that linkage, there isn't evidence that that linkage is actually there. And then, as uh, Deputy Arrington said, you know, wine sales have increased over the last number of years uh, significantly. But the fact of the matter is, there is not a heck of a lot of advertising uh, by the wine industry in this country at all. Um, so, you know, we don't believe, and uh, we fundamentally don't believe, that there's any empirical evidence uh, which shows the linkage. And, uh, and that is the fundamental issue for us. Okay. Yeah, I mean, just to follow up on Philip's point, I think that the figures Deputy Kenny pointed out, I would attribute that more to cheap alcohol being available. We won't name the stores, we know where, where they are. Uh, wine sales, um, I don't believe it's linked to the advertising of alcohol. I think it's believed the real uh, part of this report for me is, is, is aiming at the price of cheap alcohol and its availability in this country. 